So here we have the Kia Seed 4 uh, on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera. Plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now and then we'll hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in great condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle and then the fuel gauge on the far right-hand side. Uh, also in the middle there, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 18,749. If we back out to the steering wheel, uh, on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls, the ability to answer and end phone calls as well. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. We've got the ability to change the firmness of the steering. So we've got steering mode normal, or sport, or comfort. So comfort would be great for parking in town. Uh, sport mode would be good on the motorway, for example, and comfort, and uh, sorry, normal is your everyday driving mode. Also over this side, we have these buttons at the bottom. They enable us to change the information displayed on that central display up there. Working our way over into the uh, central area where we've got the multimedia screen, you can see that we have DAB digital radio. This car's also got FM and AM as well, which are available down the bottom just there. Uh, and then on top of that, if you want to listen to your own music, just hit the media button. Nothing is connected at the moment, uh, but basically what we've got are uh, USB and auxiliary inputs. You can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, and this car's got Apple CarPlay as well. There's a video showing how that works on our website. We've also got satellite navigation, and again, you can find a video on that uh, available on our website and Facebook page. If I put the car into reverse, you'll see that we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see behind you. Underneath that, we've got the passenger and driver heated seats, both with three different heat settings each. We can turn off traction control, lock the car doors from the outside, and then we've got dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car, fan speed up or down from here, and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on, or hit auto, and the car will maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed itself. You can determine then where you'd like the air to blow within the car. Under that, we have two 12 volt charging sockets as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously, and a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.